20 commandments? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. Let's see what else is in here. Hey, Jane Austen's lower jaw. Don't get too excited. We're still two tibias shy of a complete set. Hmm. Leonardo da Vinci's sketches of a cold fusion reactor. A fully playable beta of Sam and Max, freelance police. A cure for polo. I think you mean polio. What's so bad about polio? Nothing but junk. Check this out, Max. The only thing that survived from the SS Minnow. Did they ever find all those irritating castaways? Nobody ever looked. It's the Fountain of Youth. Make a wish, Sam! I wish there wasn't a deadly piranha swimming in it. I never wish that about anything! What's left of Noah's Ark? So the legends are true! Someone really was crazy enough to save mosquitoes from extinction. And humans! Live and learn. How did you find picnic stuff on a desolate island? Easy. It was all in the picnic basket. How's the vacation going? Oh, the weather's perfect. And there's so much history and culture. The best part is that Abe and I finally get some time all to ourselves. With no distractions. Isn't that right, Abe? Abe? What? Oh yeah, right. Culture. Have you met any of the locals? Not yet. I wanted to explore more of the island, but Abe wanted to stay here. The view's so much nicer here. Uh, of the ocean, I mean. Did you know that the native language has over 50 words per boredom? I'm not bored, surrounded by such beauty. Oh, Abe. Just between the four of us. Those Moai statues are real jerks. Now you just shut your mouth. Abe, I agree, Sam. They're all so sullen and moody. Right, because you're never moody. I wish these Moai guys would stop being so depressing. I've seen teenagers stuffed in lockers who are less emo than these guys. You're just too shallow to understand them. The volcano's going to erupt in a deadly rain of fiery magma. Aren't you worried? Are you sure you're a dog? Because you sound like a big chicken. Oh, be nice, Abe. Well, if it looks like the volcano's going to blow, we'll just hop back through the triangle. Want to help us stop the volcano? <coughs> Sam, please. We'll help you with your little adventures when we're not on vacation. Have fun, kids. Don't wait up! <laughs> hey Sam, look! Clues! Hmm, my wilderness tracking skills have gotten rusty, but something tells me this just might be the ancient entrance to the secret underground lair of the Volcano God. Where do you two think you're going? Oh Sam, he's got a little gun! Isn't he the cutest thing? Can we keep him? Try not to get imprinted or shot, Max. We still don't know who this little tank belongs to. Jimmy Hoffa belongs to nobody. You can't be Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa was a ruthless union organizer and head of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s, known for his ties to organized crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. Also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper-wearing baby. I'm not a baby! Look at the way his little thumb pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. People always showing me disrespect. I should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. What fountain of youth are you talking about? That fountain right there, Brainiac. You expect us to believe the fountain of youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it. I can't believe how perfect he is. You've been hitting the fountain water a little hard, haven't you? I do partake on occasion, yes. That's my business. He likes his fountain of youth water, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. A little bit. A little bit. Why'd you drink yourself back to infancy? Look, I ain't got no problems. So don't go saying that I do. 
It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too little, and you have to go through puberty again. Too much, and bada bing! Step aside, sport. We grown-ups have to take care of a great big mean old volcano god. You and your companion will be wanting to take a step back. Oh, look, he's trying to intimidate us. He's just perfect. Please, let's take him home. Not now, Max. Then when, Sam? My biological clock is ticking and I'm not getting any younger. Playtime is over, son. We've got important work to do. I'm expanding my enterprises back here. And I'd hate for either of you to get hurt in the construction. We'll take that risk. We're freelance police. Freelancers? That's worse than scabs. Is baby getting fussy? Is it his bedtime? Stop it! I wonder if his precious little skull is soft and malleable like a real baby's. How can we find out? Is baby gassy? Does baby need to be burped? Get out of here! We'll give you a nice big rattle for that dumb old gun of yours. You two are seriously trying my patience. Sam, let's teach him the wrong words for things. We're going bye-bye now. Bye-bye. You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam, look how his little eyes and the barrel of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal. Looks like we've stumbled into some primitive tiki bar, Max. Pipe down, Chucklehead. Oh, I was hoping to get into a Lagomorph's Gone Wild video. Howdy, boys. Haven't seen you around before. Sam, they're all babies! Stay calm, Max. They're more frightened of you than you are of them. Hi, fellas. What brings you to our little slice of paradise? Sam and Max, freelance police, ma'am. And we're here to stop a volcano. You babies are in danger. Shut up! We're not babies. God! <laughs> He's right. Pleased to meet you, boys. Don't be fooled by the divers. We've been around the block a few times. My name's Amelia Earhart. You've already met Mr. Charles Lindbergh, Jr. Whatever. And that other fella is one Mr. Dan Cooper. Hey, how y'all doing? Call me DB. Everybody does. Did y'all fly out here? Woohoo! What gives? You guys have been missing for decades. That's the funny thing about this island. It's easy to lose track of time. You don't call, you don't write. You've had conspiracy theorists and documentary filmmakers worried sick. Whatever. You can't tell us what to do. Why haven't you gone home? And ruin a clean getaway? Heck no. They don't understand me at home. My parents are so stupid. And I made a drink order in 1973. I'm not leaving until I get some service. You look younger than in your pictures. It's that dang fountain! And once you start drinking from it, you can't stop! We had to put the fountain off limits, or we would have drunk ourselves out of existence. Ironic, ain't it? I made my reputation being a woman unafraid to wear pants, and now I'm wearing rubber pants! It must have been a big adjustment going back to wearing diapers. Well, not for me. When you're in my line of work, it helps to have some extra protection, if you know what I'm saying. Did I ever tell y'all about how I dodged them feds and jumped out of a jumbo? Only like a million times. How'd you manage to all regress to exactly the same age? It was a very carefully planned and executed drinking game. You take a drink every time DB says the word parachute. What do you guys do for fun around here? We used to ride the bucking surfboard until we drank ourselves under the hot limit. Dang, that son of a bee was a hoot and a half! Give me a few more years and I'll beat your record, Amelia! See you around, kids. Where did you find so many femurs? My old porn section. Say hello to Jack, Don, and Rochester. That's awful. Oh, tell me about them. These guys still can't hold the high notes. Hiya, boys. You're new here, right? Sam and Max, freelance volcano stoppers. 
Well, gosh, I'm glad to meet you. I, I'm Glenn Miller. Well, maybe you boys can help me out. 